Okay, David, I need to know, do I have 24 hours less than that to enjoy a little bit more warmth before things right. skip real? Are you heading inland tomorrow? I can. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> you might want to do that because there are some mild to milder temperatures inland tomorrow. So I think we'll squeeze out uh, one more day. One more day. Yeah. So we go along the coastline. Unfortunately, we get that sea breeze, so that's keeping us cooler. As you can feel as you head out there right now, look at the temperature in Portland. You're at 50 degrees, and most of the coastline in the 40s in Nogancourt, we're 48 degrees. 52 down in Portsmouth. Uh, Sanford, you're at 50 degrees. Berlin, New Hampshire, 46. You can see way out towards western New Hampshire, still in the mild zone. Look at that, Lebanon, New Hampshire, 70 degrees still at this hour. Pretty amazing, but as you get northern ports to the northern portions of the state, 41 in Caribou, 44 in Callis, Rockland, 44 degrees, Bangor, 47. So the chill is moving in, expecting temperatures to drop into the 40s and 30s across northern areas, maybe even a couple of 20s far northern areas. Right now the winds are out of the east off that cool ocean. That's what's bringing that cooler air inland right now. And that's why we saw those temperatures drop this afternoon. But beautiful day out there. N uh, very nice day out there, uh, so to speak. But right now we do have a frontal system s over southern New England that's sagging to the south. High pressures building into our area. Upper level system over Virginia. That's going to slowly rotate towards the north by Saturday night into Sunday. Bring in a couple of showers. I'm not expecting a washout on Sunday. And this system over the northern plains is going to be moving towards the east. And that's going to meet up with that system to our south. And we could see some more showers as we head into Monday. But before we get there, let's talk about what, can, what we're going to see overnight tonight. Few clouds around. Temperatures dropping through the 50s into the 40s as you wake up tomorrow morning. Some 30s north. And again, maybe a couple of 20s in some of the inland valleys, but it will be a cool start tomorrow, noticeably cooler than it was today. But as we go through the day, you'll see some sunshine and, and see some clouds dimming out the sun by the afternoon. But look inland, at inland locations, Freiburg over to Lewiston, all the way up to Bangor. You're in the 60s, so it's not too bad out there tomorrow. So you will enjoy it, but you'll start to see those clouds increasing along the coastline. That, that's where we're going to see cooler temperatures in the 50s, but still not too bad of a day. And then tomorrow evening looking pretty decent. A couple of showers down across southern New England. They'll try to sneak in Saturday night, but not expecting too much of a washout. You have to dodge some showers early Sunday morning. Lots of clouds noticeably cooler, especially along the coastline. We'll have a raw northeast wind developing as we go through the course of the morning into the afternoon. But again, a couple of showers around some sprinkles along the coastline. Temperatures mostly in the 40s, upper 40s to around 50 along the coastline. Slightly milder inland, but still on the cool side. Believe it or not, northeastern parts of, I should say, down east part uh, portions of the state will be the warmest as you head to Callis, Millinocket, up to Caribou in the 50s as we head to uh, Sunday afternoon. Again, pushing 70 some locations inland tomorrow, so not too bad. Zach, you might want to take a drive over there, but along the coastline, we'll be dealing with some cooler temperatures. Sunday, we all get into the cool act with temperatures in the 50s for the most part with some rain showers around more in the way of clouds. And even into Monday, we'll have some milder temperatures to the north, but still dealing with some clouds and some showers, especially in the afternoon on Monday. So we'll be watching that closely for you. Still a little bit, uh, some details to work out on that portion of the forecast. Not too bad on the waters tomorrow. Seas about two to four two to uh, around two feet actually not just just a two there <laughs> as we go through the weekend though we'll have the increasing chance for showers as we head into sunday night into monday afternoon and a few showers around uh, tuesday into wednesday but we do see a little bit of a warm-up as we head into next week some hints of some milder temperatures pro probably pushing 60 by the end of next week so we but we're not going to be seeing 80 yeah. that's for sure but school vacation week for a lot of people, not a That's total right. washout. No, I don't think it's going to be too bad, but we will be dodging some showers, yeah. but that's April. All right. Thanks, David. Enjoy the weekend.